Hello, it's Ms. Nicole of Legacy Lineage Online Learning in collaboration with Youth on Fire to present story time. Well, we have another story time in our Earth Day themed stories. Our last story, does anybody remember what it was? Hmm, are there any hints around here to tell us? But in that story, we talked about animals and where they live, and we also talked a little bit about the colors of the animals. In this story, we are also going to be talking about where these, these people live at, and also some different colors are in this story. Again, this is the part of our Earth Day theme where we are learning about different places in the world. And this is called Kenta Colors. This is one of my favorites, Kenta Colors. I am reading, I am reading. Look at me, look at me. Time to put the toys away and listen to what I say. One, two, three, eyes on me. This is the front of the book. This is the back of the book. This is the spine. This is the spine. This is the front of the book. This is the back of the book, and this is the spine, and this is the spine. We've been doing story time for a little bit now. I hope you guys are learning our song. All right, here we go. Kenta Colors. Look at those happy children. How many children are on the cover of the, the story today? Let's see. One, two, three, and somebody's peeking back here. Four. Kenta colors. Oh, they look like they're having fun. They look like they're having really a lot of fun playing what? Jump rope and riding bikes. And if you're able to go outside and you have a place, I hope you are doing some physical activity, maybe going out in your backyard, maybe kicking a ball, or if you have masks, maybe you're able to take a walk, whatever your parents feel comfortable with. Here we go. Kenta colors, bright and bold. What colors do you see in this Kenta? Kenta is a type of cloth. What colors do you see in it? And did you notice that the children in this picture, they're wearing Kenta on their bodies. All different places they have on Kenta. Can you say Kenta? Red, yellow, blue, black, and gold. And there's her basket. Red, yellow, blue, black, and gold. What is that in her basket? It's yarn. And if you get up real close back here, we talked about this animal. It was in our last story, a flamingo. See it flying? Emerald Kenta for harvest time. And emerald is another color for green, like a deep green. And in this part of the world, which is Africa, when they harvest, they don't carry their foods in bags like we do. Um, they carry them in baskets. And where do they put the baskets? This lady's so good at it, she doesn't even need her hands to hold a basket. She's balancing it. Something fun to do after, maybe to try to balance a couple books on your head. See, see how easy it is to balance something on your head. Oh, look at this. Indigo blue for African skies. Indigo blue for African skies. So this story is about Africa and different places in Africa. Yellow Kenta for pineapple sweet. Do you like pineapple? Sunset Kenta, red and deep. Mud pie kento, rich and brown. Gold.
gold dust kenta and a kenta crown and look at the king and the warriors see all the gold around them he's royalty kenta colors silver and black swirling around dancers backs did you know that one of my most favorite things to do is dance? Kenta for a newborn child. And look at the baby. He has a little Kenta bib on him right here. Aww. Kenta colors and bright silk robes. And these men in Africa, I think they're known as like the elders. They are the older men in the family and they're probably, or in their community. And they're probably sitting around and telling stories. Like maybe they're talking about the story, Abby, yo, yo, Abby, yo, yo. For young generations, I'm sorry, for generations young and old. And this family is celebrating Kwanzaa. I know because I see their Kwanzaa candles in the background. And what color are their candles? Did you notice them? I'll point to the candles I see in the background. Wow, did you notice what color are the candles? Nice job. And this is a picture of a man actually making kenta. He's on what's called a loom. So his job is a weaver and he is weaving kenta cloth. Did you notice something about his feet? Did you notice? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's doing it with no shoes on. And so a loom would be the equivalent to like a sewing machine. I don't know if you have anyone in your family that likes to sew, but all these clothes <laughs> that we wear, they're made on a sewing machine. And in Africa, Kenta cloth is made on a loom. Thank you for joining me as we explored Kenta colors. And we discovered colors and some things about culture in Africa. Thank you.